survivors of domestic abuse. Courtney, standing by with more. All right, we are joined this morning by Sonia J. Holt. She is the executive director and founder of an organization called SCARS. Good morning to you, Sonia. Good morning. So first we have to give a shout out because you are uh, from Solano County, an HU, Howard University grad, go Bison. Uh, go Bison. <laughs> <laughs> and you actually have an event that's coming up um, in Solano County this weekend that people can get some more details about. We'll talk about that in just one second, but what does SCARS stand for? It stands for Second Chance at Renewing Self. Wonderful. And you yourself are a domestic abuse uh, survivor. Tell us about, um, obviously, your journey to getting to this point where you're helping others emerge from similar situations was not easy. Um, but you say that you've been able to use the arts to kind of bridge some of that gap. Absolutely. So no, my journey was not easy. It was um, really an 11 year journey for me to be able to um, obtain the courage for me to leave that um, relationship, that mm -hmm. abusive relationship that I was in. Um, and out of that and out of my healing, I discovered really that um, domestic violence was this taboo subject that people just don't talk about and we don't want to talk about. Sure. And there's not enough conversation about it. So it kind of became my personal mission really to um, dispel the myths that society has about domestic violence. And I just wanted to to really just bring awareness to the community about what domestic violence really is. Um, and to just let individuals know that it's okay to say that you are a survivor and to also to celebrate that. And then on the other end, to help survivors heal from the um, effects of domestic violence as well. Absolutely. Uh, your story has been featured on the Discovery Channel as well. And this event that's coming up uh, this weekend, you are using some spoken words, some, um, some artistic ways to, to convey this. I wanna play a snippet of a poem that uh, you have featured in the past with all men talking about how this is not the way a relationship is supposed to go. Take a listen to this. Won't squander your trust or call you out of your name except in role playing. I dare not humiliate, manipulate, or degrade you and anyone who does, he is not a real man. Real men are misogynists, they massage you. They're not chauvinists, they show and prove that they'll guard you from all harm and danger. To never feel like you're in the arms of a stranger, he should buy your punching bag and take out his anger because you are not it. Period, no disclaimers. This is not all men. This is not the norm. This is not just what couples do. This is not just what couples do. I love that, and I love how he points out that a real man would never do anything, you know, to, to harm a woman physically or mentally, uh, emotionally as well. Talk about the idea of bringing men in to convey that message, especially to other men. So it's so important to have the male perspective. Um, so often they're they're left out of that conversation, yeah. um, and unfortunately, a lot of times because of the um, because women typically are the ma the majority um, when it comes to abuse victims, and men a lot of times are seen automatically as the perpetrators. Sure, but there that is not everyone, right? And there are many men out there that um, are supporters, and so listening to their voice and hearing their voice is so important, and to let other men know whether they are or aren't, whether they have or haven't been an abuser, that it's still not okay. And it's okay for them to have a voice as well um, and to support uh, and, and the cause itself. Fantastic. All right, so the event is coming up on Saturday. It's in Vallejo. Tell us about uh, where it is and how people can get some more information. It is. So it is Saturday the 7th um, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the John S. Beverly Elks Lodge in Vallejo. And I believe that's on Alabama Street. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a free event. Um, it is being held as a fundraiser. Um, and uh, so there will be a 90 minute interactive um, workshop and just some great information and just a great time. It is a brunch. So you will be eating when you get there. Uh, 
there are no tickets that are required. You can just show up. So we want the community to come out. And this is not just a women's event. It is a um, human event. So human event. we invite everyone to come out, wear your mask. And um, we're just uh, looking forward to have a educational and interactive um, and informative event. Be safe and spread the love. I love that. Sonia, thank you so much for uh, sharing your experience and also for doing what you're doing for everybody in the community. We're going to link all those details on our website, GoodDaySacramento.com, under show info and today's date. Thanks, Sonia. Thank you, Courtney. All right, going back over to you. Oh, important stuff. Thank you so much.